Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week we're going to pick up where we left last week and we're going to select chilled beams. So last week we left you hanging here with this 60 by 40 space with 30 people, 870 CFM and 30 to 640 BTU of sensible load. So now let's open the selection program and actually select the beams for this space. The Titus selection program is called Teams. You can download it for free from our website and I'll also put a link in the description below. You can select all of our products in Teams, but we're just going to do chilled beams today. So let's get started. I usually do a quick selection, but let's do a new project today. Click on New Project and it opens the Save It As. We'll call it CB Demo. Click Save and it takes us to the project information screen. So you can fill out your information here. We're just going to call it CV Demo and make the city Dallas and the state Texas and we'll leave the rest blank right now. Over on the right side of the project defaults, you can select defaults for terminal units, chill beams, or fan coils. We're doing a chill beam project, so let's go back to chill beam. But I think we'll actually just leave these here and go to schedule. So click on schedule and it'll open up the what product do you want to select screen and we're going to click chilled beam project. And then from here our schedule's empty, so we're going to go add a new room. So over on the left you have room design. We're going to enter our room parameters here from our little project. Our room was 60 by 40 and let's call it 10 foot high ceiling. You can select whether you have a 50% perf grill or a 70% bar grill, cooling, heating, or both. And you can select whether you want your beams parallel to the room length or width. In the middle you can select your selection criteria. So you can tell it what you want, what beam length, width, what inlet size you want, whether you want one-way or two-way air pattern. You can pick your nozzle size, your piping configuration, and your coil type. But I'm going to leave most of these on auto select. And then on the right you have the room design. So I'm going to put in our primary airflow of 870 CFM and 32640 as our BTU. And I put heating and cooling the same just to make it simple because we didn't do any heating low calculations. And then we're going to hit calculate down here at the bottom. And now this has given us a bunch of different selections for parallel to room length, which is what I set the orientation to. If I go up and change that to parallel to room width and hit calculate again, you can see it comes up with a different range of selections. Let's go back to parallel to room length because I think that's what I want to use for our example. Now let's look at the performance data that it shows. It shows you the quantity, the layout, the length, what nozzles used, the inlet size, and then the cooling and heating parameters per beam. So the CFM per beam, the water capacity, the total capacity, air pressure drop, water pressure drop, GPM, throw, and the sound criteria. And then again for heating the same values. Let's say we want to select this at the bottom which is 18 in a 6 by 3 orientation. You click on that, click save and close, and that brings you to the schedule. So you can see all of our selection parameters are here as well as the beam performance. Say I want to put a couple more. If I select that line and click on copy line item, it'll open a dialog box for me and I can say, say I have four rooms exactly like this and click accept. And now I have, or say four more rooms and now I have five rooms. You can go up to report, launch report, and let's click room schedule and launch report and now it's going to open up a room schedule preview for us. Scoot this over just a little bit and now you can see our room schedule so all of the information that we had 
in the selection program is now here in this room schedule. You can click this little disk with the arrow on it icon and it'll drop down and you can see that you can export it to Excel, PDF, or Word. So you can export it and use it somewhere else or in a, um, another document. Okay, let's close that. So now we've used Teams to select the beams for our space from last week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.